So there's several things we're going to check on our twine tensioner. And this is our upper twine tensioner. You're going to want to take this, lift it up, and you want to make sure you, you can spin this with your finger. And the same thing up here on the top. You want to make sure that you can spin this. We take our, our air hose and we put it right down in here. And we refer to this as spinning it. And we do that, we do that on both sides to try and uh, blow out all the hay dust that gets built up in here. So after you have spun this top and bottom, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to lower this back down. You're going to make sure that your, this is your twine guide right through here. You want to make sure where this twine has been rubbing that it hasn't um, wore a groove. In here, if it has, put a stone on your die grinder and you can kind of grind this out. Always make sure that these will turn good and free. It's always nice to take your air, hit this a little bit. You saw the, the dirt that came out of there. It's always good to blow that out and make it so it'll free up even more. You're going to want to check inside of, of here and of your, on your tensioner rollers that over a period of time they're going to get grooved out quite a bit you're going to want to go ahead and replace those so also you this is your spring tensioner and we're going to move to the to the back of the baler and we'll show you how to adjust the, the so there's these two bolts here when we tighten or loosen these we want, we're going to do them equal proportions so if we turn this one a half a turn we're going to turn this one a half a turn okay so now that we're on the back side of the knotters you're going to take your twine from your twine tensioner you're going to pull it through you're going to take a loop put in here you're going to take your fish scale and on the top we want to have 15 pounds of pull so as we pull on this we don't we don't want that roller to turn on us until we reach 15 pounds and you can see we're breaking at about 10 to 11 so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to tighten this up so that's one turn, turn and a half, two turns. Now we'll go over here and we'll do the exact same thing. That's one turn, turn and a half, two turns. Now we'll go back up towards the back and we'll check it. can see we're now about 13 14 so we're right around right around that 15 when it breaks and it's going to be a give or take right around that uh, 15 16 and that's where we want to adjust all of our top tensioners a spring at is at 15 pounds of pull now we'll go down underneath the baler and adjust it so now that we're down underneath the same thing applies we want to make sure that our twine guides that they're, they will turn freely same thing here we're going to take and pry this piece back take our air hose or air gun right in here we'll spin these uh, tensioner gears make sure that they're freed up um, down here on the bottom we have a problem with the with the twine slipping off to the side it's really important if you're having knotter mist ties that to crawl underneath here and just not do a fleeting glance but to really look and because it likes to go right off to this side right here and it can give us some serious problems in in, in our knotter mist ties so now we're going to adjust our bottom tensioner. Same thing, we're going to take, put a loop on our twine. Going to take our scale 
Now down here is just a, we want to be 18 pounds of pole. So you can see we're right about at about 17. About 17 pounds of pull on here. So we'll go ahead, we'll take our wrench, tighten this up until we have 18 pounds of pull. So that's how we adjust our, our twine tensioners. Okay, so this is the new twine tensioner that Agco came out with in year 2022. We find that it's working a little bit better. The biggest thing is you can see that this twine guide is not in the center anymore. It's a little bit to, to offset. So as that twine comes in here, it makes it so that it will pull over here and, and puts it more into the center of our our twine tensioner gears. So if you're having an issue with that bottom twine coming out that we were just talking about, you can, most of the time, you just need to put a new tensioner on there. There's lots of little tricks that you can try, but typically it's just time to replace it. One thing to remember too, that it, this is, this fits the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So, Nodders one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, depending upon where this sets, is where you're going to want this twine guide. So if the twine is coming over here from the left hand side, it's going to come over here. If it's coming from the right hand side, you're going to take this twine guide and move it over to this side. And then that way it will position it so that twine's always wrapping around and then coming down over here into the center of your twine guide.